are back with more Phantasmagoria 2. Um, contrary to what I said last time, uh, I have received a lot of uh, viewer comments telling me that we are not yet ready to visit the Dreaming Tree. Oh no. You see, remember that uh, the Penske file I was working on when I logged in my computer, got punched in the face by, unse uh, by an unseen spirit who called me a freak? Well, we still have to finish the Penske file. I know. So... That's what we're going to do. Also, for no reason that has been yet adequately explained to me, I have to go back and check my mail. I don't know what's in it. And then I have to go show all of my family pictures to my coworkers because that's normal. Don't people just come around to your cubicle and show you pictures all the time? Whatever. So we're going to get back into it. I have started recording, and now we're going to go back to my house during the workday to get my mail. Oh, hang on. So here we go. Oh, I also should mention that uh, you cannot see my mouse cursor, despite my best efforts to the contrary. Uh, I don't know why, it's just, uh, I guess this was made before the advent of hardware cursors. And there's... I know you'd like to follow along and get the the mouse cursor, but it's just not going to happen, so you'll have to bear with me. Oh, I hope today's the day Jillian Anderson finally wrote me back. Uh, okay. I'm assuming I got to check the mail and use it on my eyeball. On my eyeball... Oh, come on. Eyeball. And it's not working. Alright. Maybe I use the mail on myself. What? That actually worked. Hey, Ed McMahon says I may already be a winner. Dear Curtis, having a great time. Glad you're not here. Hey. <laughs> I'm Rick James, bitch. Will that ever get old? <laughs> uh, did we get to find out what was on that, please? That's just kind of funny that, uh... The, the, when I had to use the wallet, I had to use it on the eyeball, but to search through the mail, I had to click it on myself and not the eyeball. I dream about you. I feel your hands on my body. I taste your mouth on mine. When I wake, I can still feel your breath on my neck, and I shiver with pleasure. Hey, wait, how in the hell did they get a hold of my fan mail? Do, do I get to find out who it's from? <laughs> I guess not. Okay, how do I get out of this? Alright. Well, clearly that was from Jillian Anderson. She's just too shy to sign it. Back to work. Goodbye, Blob. Don't consort with the Dark One while I'm away. Oh, Dreaming Tree, once again I am forced to resist your siren call. Skip that. Oh, uh, something else people told me to do was to call myself. Which I hadn't even thought of as an option, but that's what I'll do first. So let's if I can find my cubicle. Green cubicles and purple walls. That's how we do things at Joker Corp. Ah, here we go. I'm watching you, computer. You don't make any sudden moves, you hear me, PC? Alright, World of Warcraft, let's dance. What's my number? 6100. Come on. <laughs> it's working. Hello, sexy. Oh, Curtis Craig. Hello, Curtis, you filthy little mother licking. I really gotta change my voicemail. Let's do it again. Hey, why the hell did you hang up on me? 
That's so incredibly rude, I can't even tell you. Hey, this is Jigsaw. Alright. Uh, the other thing I was told was to show my pictures to co-workers, so I guess I'll try that. Uh, maybe he should, maybe he sent me the pornographic postcard. <laughs> this Sudoku puzzle is diabolical. But I got the mail today. Ooh. <laughs> Down, girl. <laughs> well, somebody's hot for your little ass, you stud. <laughs> you know, when Just they um, later talked to him about this game, he would go on to review and say, Hey, da dad all other men if you're not careful. He's got it for me so bad. Uh, show him my driver's license. Hey, Don't you have work, I Curtis? Think clearance is higher than mine. Have you ever been to uh, any of the restricted areas? No way, man. And I don't want to. Boy, they're probably, like, breeding two-ton hamsters down there or something, man. <laughs> Tell you what, Curtis, you can visit my restricted area any time. <laughs> oh, I don't want to give him my wallet. How about this Polaroid? Crap. Take it out. I'm working, Curtis! <laughs> Do you remember that party at all? Ah, no, it's uh, it's all a blur of white rum, hot music, and really bad food. Damn good thing you're a perpetual designated driver. Yeah, that's me. A sobriety poster child. <laughs> you know, I do seem to remember Bob blowing cheese on the dance floor, though. Mm. <laughs> Dancing Queen! I just will not leave this guy alone. Look what I found. Goodbye, mm -hmm. Curtis! You gotta have this. Oh. Those are your folks? Mm hmm. Nice looking couple. No, you look a lot like your mom. Your eyes. You look like your mom! Take it back! Queer. What? Touchy. Oh, well, it looks like someone's got sand in his vagina. Huh. Would you like to see my screwdriver? No? Okay. Oh, let's show uh, Horny the Elf here some pictures. Yeah, I'm sure she wants to see this nasty postcard. Hey, Trees. I know you like old movie stars. Oh, let me see. Oh, Trace. <laughs> Don't. We? Oh. Oh. Looks like someone's got a crush on you. Yeah, well. Jillian Anderson is just a friend, okay? What? It's from me. Oh, baby. Mmm, Kathy Lee. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'll be in the, in my bunk, hey. Yeah, uh, take my wallet, no? Okay. She doesn't want to see that picture. She doesn't want to see any pictures, okay. Maybe Bob will help. Maybe he'd love to see those Christmas pictures, or my nasty postcard. No, no. Ah, he wants to see this. Hey, Bob. What do you want, puke stain? Are you taking the same date to the Christmas party this year? I, I figure she'll give you a discount now that she's turned 60. Kiss my ass. Ouch, what a devastatingly witty retort. You win this round, Curtis. But the war between us isn't over, young man. Oh, no. Not by a long shot. Curtis. Uh, I should probably talk to Baldy. Ah, there we go. Uh, Baldo, did you send me this nasty postcard? Hey, Tom. I'm not losing my hair. This I don't have a porn addiction. What? Clearance is so low. 
I can't even get to the cafeteria with my card. Uh, you're an you intern, Curtis. Oh, well, that can't be right. I'll look into it for you, Curtis. Great, thanks. Yeah, Curtis, here I go, looking into it. Look at me go. Vroom. You think you're so special just because you have hair? He doesn't want to see the photos either. Okay. Next we go to my hot girlfriend. Oh, she doesn't want to see that. No. Ah. Let's see. Have I been frigid and smothering to my boyfriend today? I'd better call. Hey, Jeff. Remember the company Christmas party? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember after the party, too. Ugh. You did a beer bong and puked on a cop car. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that you let anyone take a picture of us out in public together. Since I'm basically ashamed to be seen with you at any given time. So, what, what, is she mad at me? Did something happen? What? Did, what? Uh, there's a... I think a plot point just puked all over me. Uh, I love the big lug. If only he wasn't such a constant disappointment. Dear Curtis, I think it's time we started seeing yes. other people. What? It's a picture of my folks. Well, let me see. <gasps> Your father is pretty sexy. Oh, come on. You know, you, you look a lot like your mother. Yeah, she's not sexy mm. at all. I am so offended by that. Mm. Lying bitch, take it back! Yesterday, he showed me a picture of his head photoshopped in the David Duchovny's body. What's he trying to say? We have a strange relationship. Uh... Alright, alright. Uh, I'm finally going to try to work on the Penske file. If I can ever get to my cubicle, this is so awkward! Ugh. Uh, my phone and my PC hate me. What you got, computer? Huh? What, you want to say something to me? Huh? Uh, oh good. What do I do? Uh, email. Fluffy bunnies. <laughs> so, Outlook has... In, instead of actually just typing the reply, I can either do the straight reply, the funny reply, or the sarcastic reply. Uh, apparently this email has nothing to do with anything. But, uh, I'll just go with a straight reply. Not too bad, Trev. Thanks for the twisted little joke. Okay, anonymous email f called Dreams. I've started dreaming about you. We're making love in a cabin with a howling windstorm outside. The cabin starts to rip apart, but we don't care. We don't stop. We're just sweating, groaning, screaming when the wind picks up and spins us round and round. It's like a pornographic Wizard of Oz. Oh, I can't reply to this? Come on. Uh, all right. About the restricted areas, I have heard a lot of speculation and rumors about the nature of the areas restricted to third floor employees. I would like to emphasize that these areas are restricted for your safety and the safety of our consumers. The clean rooms in the basement level are uh, must be kept free of particles and contamination so that our products are safe and reliable. What do we make around here? The flaps on the fourth floor are off limits due to toxic and volatile nature of some of the chemicals involved in certain types of creation of pharmaceuticals. Let's all work together with the WinTech team and respect other departments. Remember, no one is trying to keep you out. We want to keep you all in. Whatever. In case you haven't heard the good news yet, Wintech won the lawsuit brought against us by Mrs. Fiona Jeter regarding our, our Silmaril diet ad. We successfully proved in a court of law that Silmaril did not cause Mrs. Jeter's liver to shut down. That was caused by an excessive consumption of mouthwash. Silmaril did not cause Mrs. Jeter to go blind. That was caused by reading in front of a color TV. Uh-oh. Uh, and Mrs. Jeter's hair was blue before she began taking the product. Well, that, and she drank Listerine! Uh, whatever. And once again, somebody is sending me dirty stories about leprechaun nuns. Sarcastic reply.
from Jocelyn. Hi, baby. I just wanted to let you know I'm thinking about you. Have a good morning. I love you, Joss. Straight reply, funny reply, or sarcastic. Yes. Oh, I'm sure it'll be a lovely morning. This is just the best job in the world. I'm just so happy I could just shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I just gotta... Are you serious? I really gotta sort through this file system? Ugh. Okay, that's just, uh, phone numbers. The Veneman file! Good, Veneman. Okay. Not reading it, not reading it. So, not reading it! And... Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. I just clicked on the screen and it did that. <laughs> Is that it? So basically, every time I just click on this window, it's going to do this. Oh. What? Hmm? Yeah, I kicked my search protector once, too. God, uh, I, I've been rickrolled! No! We're gonna kill you, Jehovah's Witnesses, we'd like to offer you a watchtower. Oh, golly, lady, you all right? Let me help you up there. Here are two successful encyclopedia salesmen. Oh, Julia Anderson, I miss you, baby. <laughs> I hate Vista so much! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling I, I really need to uh, switch operating systems. Yo, oh, Jacob! <laughs> HP issued a recall of its touchscreen monitors today. <laughs> Don't let this happen to you. By McAfee Antivirus Protection. You miserable, insane, wretch. Obi-Wan never told you what I'm happened to sorry. your father. But, you're not. but you know your mother was. <laughs> not always. My mother was a saint! She wasn't always the violent, gibbering, drooling, lunatic she became. Was she? You drove her to it. I did not! I was only six years old! Yes, a six year old little monster who drove his poor mother to madness and finally to suicide. No! No, I didn't come in you, Pete, I swear. Uh. Oh no. I wet him again. Freak. You know what, Bob? That's it! Me and you, outside! Oh man. I gotta lay off that water. Oh, I can no longer use my computer. <laughs> now I'm really not sure what to do, so... Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go tell Baldi that uh, my computer's broken. I don't really know what else to do about this. Uh, no, I can never remember which one it is. Okay, I can't do that. And once again, the sound is crapped out. Um, I don't know, call him? 6125. Oh, so that works. I can't just... Trevor Barnes? Trevor. Oh crap, wrong guy. Uh, have you ever felt like you were going nuts, man? Oh yeah, all the time. Sometimes I feel attracted to other men. Come on, Travis, this is not all about you being gay. Curtis, you're serious, aren't you? I am. I am. I uh, sort of can't get up right now, Curtis, Travis. Come over here. 
right now, okay? Bring bud? some more of those darling pictures. I gotta go, Trev. No, I meant to call the bald guy. Hopefully he could fix my fucking computer. I forget who he is, though. Uh, I'm guessing it's Tom. 6120. Alright, alright. I don't know what inspired me just to call the gay guy, but alright. Curtis, what, what's wrong? I hope. Oh, yeah. There's something wrong with me. God, I'm seeing things. I saw the new Flash Gordon show on the Sci-Fi Channel, and it's, it's not very um, good. Look, let's let's get out of here for a few, huh? I'll, I'll send mail to Tom. He won't mind, okay? It's good we get out, Curtis. We never we never see each other socially anymore. Loading. Let's not move, Curtis. Let's just freeze like this. Like in that beer commercial, drinkability! Alright, bud. I've got you trapped. Talk to me. What happened today? I saw something, that's all. Something I don't think was really there. Oh, you mean that male version of The View with Danny Bonaducci? Oh, I hated it! <laughs> Well, I'm glad we went all this way, Curtis, so you wouldn't talk to me. Curtis, for God's sake, I'm your best friend. You know you can talk to me, don't you? I know. I. You remember how I told you about my mother going crazy and leaving my father and uh, I alone? Girlfriend, everyone's yeah. mama's crazy. It's not true. I mean, I thought it was, but until a few days ago... I remember that she hung herself from, from her ceiling fan. Jeez, yeah, that kind of stuff can be easy to forget. It's harsh. No wonder you're so flipped out. Come on, Curtis. You know what? Let's do. Let's split one of those chocolate volcano cakes. I love those. Well, well, well. The boys are playing hooky. Can I get you guys Shame some extreme on. fajitas? Shame isn't part of my vocabulary. Well, it must be. You just said it. See what happens when you waste a good line on a straight boy? Yeah, just get my bloomin' onion, butthead. You wanna take our order there, tchotchkes? Sue! So, Phantasmagoria! Curtis, don't take this personally, okay? But you look like the angry video game nerd. Have you thought about talking to someone? I mean, all that stuff about your mother, that's an awful lot for you to deal with alone. Yeah, I thought about it, Trev, but... Look, I'd rather be dead. Man, I got a lot of receipts dead. back here! About Gotta out. add all this stuff He's together. I can't tell you how many awesome. checks I have to add up. One, two... Oh, hey, welcome to Tchotchkes! Yeah, I'll be right with you. I just gotta finish these receipts. Why don't you go, uh, sit over at the bar over there? I'll be right with you. As soon as I finish adding up all of these receipts. I know. Cool. It's crazy. Well, yeah, our cash know. register broke down. I can't add it automatically. So well, back at it. Uh, let's see. Table four. Fajitas. 11.95. Next page. Oh, yeah. Margarita. Margarita. Woo. These ladies are starting early this morning. Yeah. Me too, come to think about it. So, man, it's hard. Think? Let's get the Separate checks. Oh, go I'm going to be here all day. See you, Phil. Good luck with those checks. Hope that POS machine starts working again. Oh, beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do stage business. Big hand for the waiter, everybody. Come on, give it up. Oh, yeah, this must be. You know, <laughs> if I heard this kind of stuff going out of my office building, I would suspect there's something wrong with the air conditioning or, like, a hell mouth opening. Huh. 
Okay, here we go. Back to the Penske pile. Part three! Huh? Kabe Shibanaka mighty Kaliba double up at the Ralamalikor. What the hell is going on? Whoa, what did, that, what did it say? It said something. Uh. Okay, okay. So it's got to spell something. And I'm not sure what. Okay, alright. So, why did it do that? Uh... Let's see... Teresa's not working on it... Whoa! You see that? It said something up there. It said usurper or something like that. I am your... D oh! You see that? It's saying weird things to me. Oh, my computer hates me. Eat their eyes. Oh, am I going crazy or is it this game? You know what? Hey, check it out. Bob is working on my document. All right, Bob. Messing with me for the last time. I'm going to go over there and... I think Bob has infected my computer with a virus. Bob. Hello, Jerry. Did you happen to know what happened in the network this afternoon? My document appears to be missing. <laughs> you lost your document? That's a new level of incompetence even for you. Well, well, Curtis. Once again, we see that there is nothing you can possess which I cannot take away. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my computer is also giving me satanic messages. Maybe you might be able to help me with that. Okay, she can't help. Uh, he can't help. He can't help. My god. This is really getting out of hand. All right, all right, all right. Let me think about this. Let me think. Uh, Bob is clearly fucking with me. So it's got to be a password that he would know about. Uh, what is he? What's the thing he always calls me? Uh, ass boy. No, uh, ass hat. It's fucking. Rat boy! That was it. Rat boy. Rat. I'm going to try to click on the letters as they go by. Rat. Six letters, too. That's all I got. Ra, come on. T. There's no T, is there? Ra, 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 rat. Oh, my God. Come on, B, B. Oh, fuck. B, oh, right. It's gonna work. It's gonna be. Ho, 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 ho. Once again, Bob, I've outwitted you again. Victory, Bob! <laughs> right, oh, every time I click on this, this happens. Am I making any progress? Seriously? It's just repeating. Oh, come on. Please do not spoil the incredible horror of Phantasmagoria! Whoa. I got a ton of new emails. Hang on, hang on. I checked the emails. 
Who are you calling a leprechaun, weasel boy? Aren't we cranky today? Don't let Bob get you down. No. From hell. Career opportunities. <laughs> okay. Dear Mr. Craig, we've been following your career for quite some time now, and we've decided to make you an offer. We know that you're currently employed as a copywriter, but we feel that you have endless talent in the field of murder. We believe that with a little practice, you could become the world's next Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, who knows, even a Hitler or Stalin. Please send us a copy of your resume, along with a dismembered human body and a quart of goat's blood. We are looking forward to working with you, Asmodeus, Astaroth, Belial, and Scratch Incorporated. <laughs> and I can't, I can't respond. Damn it. Well, how am I supposed to send my resume and the dismembered human corpse if I don't know the email address? Uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. Another stupid story gets sent to me. Charity contributions. Uh, animal testing. Due to pressure from various animal rights groups, WinTech will officially end all animal rights test or animal testing on the first of next month. Sadly, we'll shall resort to having to let several employees go. Dr. Fritz will be let go Friday. This is from me. Huh. To all employees from Curtis Craig. I just wanted to let you know that I'm a murderer. I killed my mother. I made her do it. She hung herself because I'm such a freak. I'm such a monster. You should have seen her with his eyes bulging out of her face like rotting cherries and her tongue all black and purple and fat and piss dripping out her leg. And on the rug, you remember, Curtis. Don't you remember? You remember! You remember, you little freak! Okay, great. Uh, did that really go to everyone in the company? Uh, from Bob. Hey, Curtis, I just wanted to let you know that you checked the tool documents in the wrong directory. I had a deadline and couldn't find them anywhere. I finally found them in the new products directory when they should have been in new clients, of course. No big deal. No permanent damage was done this time. Just wake up and pay a little more attention, my friend. Bob. Uh, okay, it's fantasy dreams. Uh, Paul, restricted areas. No, that's uh, okay. I've seen all these. I don't have the password for that. Okay, so clearly, just clicking on the document is not going to do anything. I can't believe I'm still in this office. Thanks for that wonderful email, Bob. Bob, I found my document. That was pretty juvenile of you. What are you talking about, Craig? It's not my fault you can't find your files. Yeah, well, whatever. Just don't let it happen again or you'll regret it. Ooh, is that a threat? You're scaring me. One day, Bob. One day this dance of ours will end. And I'll be the one laughing me! Oh, more of Trevor. Can never have enough of Trevor. I can't believe Bob. He's such a total jerk. Do you know what he just said to me? Uh, no, but I'm sure it was ill-mannered and lame. Or just a bunch of pig noises. Don't let him get to you, bud. Everybody knows you're going to get that promotion over him. Yeah, well, still, think I'd have mind if I killed him? Um, nope, be my guest. Although I'm sure that cryptic and menacing threat won't come back to bite you in the near future. <laughs> Foreshadowing! Okay, so by now I have no idea what to do. There's no one else to talk to. I've called everybody. So I'm only just going to assume I got to start wandering around and hope something happens. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that one room where I had to move all the boxes again. Maybe something I got to open that secret passageway into John Malkovich's head. I don't know. Whoa. 
This is new. Oh, hey, Trace. How uh -oh. are you? Hey, okay. Curtis. I was just out of cock. I thought I might find some here. Let's cut the crack. I, uh, I really shouldn't. See, I got this girlfriend. Okay. Very attractive. Listen, Therese, I have a girlfriend. I don't care here. about that. I want to be a prom date. I want you. I want your flesh. I think Curtis is working the wrong angle. He should be thinking threesome right now. Or, hell, call Travis. Foursome. Bye now. <laughs> I wonder what she meant by that. Uh, uh. Stupid, stupid blowjob. Ask for blowjob. Uh. So. Uh. I guess. Uh. I don't know. Follow her back to her cubicle. Oh, she, I can talk to her. All right. Jeez. This is about what happened to the network over the day. I really like you a lot, but I'm seeing somebody right now. Be quiet. Okay. Listen. Listen to the language of your flesh. It's telling you what to do. This is starting to sound a lot like Videodrome. I'll uh, go listen to my flesh over here. In fact, you'll probably be able to hear it too. Maybe Bob will know something about this. Nope. I know what any sensitive, noble boyfriend should do when confronted with temptations like this is to talk to my real girlfriend and see what she thinks. Uh, apparently not. And once again, I am stuck not knowing what to do. Ugh. Yeah, I never get tired of this clip. Great. Time to get out of here. What? Oh my god. I'm actually done with today's work. Oh, freedom! That's about time, let me tell you. Okay, they're all gone. Good, 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 good. Let's see if my girlfriend wants to go. Let's see if she's here. They're all gone. Uh, my girlfriend has ditched me. But that's okay, because you know why? Next time we are going to the Dreaming Tree, and you know it's going to be awesome. Until next time.